Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the pharmacology of the osmotic diuretics. The osmotic diuretics are hydrophilic chemical substances. They like the water. They are solute. They are filtered through the glomerulus of the nephron. They have ability to carry water with them in the tubular fluid. They undergo little or no reabsorption. They increase the urinary output. What are the osmotic diuretics? These are the menetol, urea, glycerol. Most commonly used is the menetol, that is the prototype. We have also isosorbide as an osmotic diuretic. What is the mechanism of action of the, of the osmotic diuretics? They increase the osmotic pressure of the glomerular filtrate, inhibit tubular reabsorption of water and electrolyte, oppose the action of ADAs in the collecting tube, prevent the reabsorption of sodium. So sodium is not reabsorbed. Its reabsorption is prevented. So opposes the action of ADH. ADAs is the antidiuretic hormone, also called vasopression. They are produced in the supraoptic nucleus of the hypothalamus. They are stored in the posterior pituitary, also called neurohypophysis. So the osmotic diuretics opposes the action of ADH in the collecting tubule. What are the therapeutic indications of osmotic diuretics? It is used in case of increased intracranial pressure, acute renal failure due to shock, drug toxicities, cerebral edema in acute glaucoma. Adverse effect, it certainly causes electrolyte imbalance, extra cellular volume expansion, dehydration because it is drawing fluid, hyperkalemia, hypernatremia, and hyponatremia. It causes hyponatremia. It may cause hypernatremia, especially if the person has defective kidney function. So it cannot be secreted through the glomerulus. It may remain in the system and it will draw the sodium from the cell to the extracellular fluid that may lead to hypernatremia. Otherwise, it causes hyponatremia. What are the contraindications? The contraindications are the hypersensitivity. So some people may be hypersensitive to manitol or other osmotic diuretics. Severe renal disease. If the kidney is totally failed, then the osmotic diuretics cannot filter through the glomerular membrane to the proximal convoluted tubule. It is also contraindicated in congestive heart failure because heart need educate amount of fluid so that heart can pump properly. It is contraindicated in pulmonary edema. So please remember, it is indicated in cerebral edema. It is contraindicated in pulmonary edema. And that's all about the osmotic diuretics. If you li like my video, please support my channel. Please subscribe me. And have a nice day. Bye now.